Hey everyone, and welcome to The Model Nerds. I'm Robert, and today we're going to be watching the Wonder Woman Comic Con trailer together and then discussing it when it's done. I don't really like to do reaction videos, but I really like to do a watch with me type segment. So I'm gonna watch the trailer, I'll look at the screen, I'll mildly react, but I really want to experience the whole trailer again with you guys. I, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Warner Brothers has done an amazing job with this trailer and I am looking forward to watching it again with you and really really dissecting it when it's done because it's fantastic. I loved the very very end of it and I'll talk about the end of it um, when I'm done with the trailer. All right so to Warner Brothers you've done an amazing job. Batman v Superman was not my favorite movie but my favorite character from Batman v Superman was Wonder Woman and I am so happy that she has a trailer and a movie coming up and the trailer is stunning. So let's uh, watch the trailer together and then we'll discuss it when it's done. All right, one, two, three, go. <coughs> You're a man. So cool. Yeah. Awesome shot. I mean, yeah, I look like one. You have been my greatest love. Be careful, Diana. Wow, that looks awesome. I do not deserve you. Oh, more mothers, DC. Have you never met a man before? But what about your father? I had no father. I was brought to life by Zeus. Well, that's neat. <laughs> wow. So freaking cool. I love this. I love the music. So, oh, there's a great shot of the last one coming up. Boots. I can't let you do this. So cool, so cool. This is awesome. What I do is not up to you. I love Gal Gadot. It's an awesome shot right there. I'm Steve Travers' secretary. What is a secretary? I go where he tells me to go and I do what he tells me to do. Yeah, well, where I'm from, that's called slavery. <laughs> I really like her. Fantastic. Oh, Ladies, I, have you? I do. I like her. All right, so we're going to go from the small screen to the big screen in three, two, one. All right, that trailer is absolutely stunning. And the the WB slash DC brought this trailer to life in probably the best way possible, where I actually was able to get a couple comments in during the reaction because it wasn't dialogue after dialogue after dialogue, but there were so many beautiful shots during it. And the lines that they do reveal were awesome. Now this tra um, trailer slash movie is going to take place, I believe, during World War One because in Batman v Superman, Diana said that she was gone from man for over 200 or over a hundred years. So I like the fact that they're going into um, World War One territory. I loved all the visuals of her fighting. The shots of her boots were really, really cool. I wonder like what emphasis it's gonna have on the, that uh, the movie is going to have on her boots and if she's going to get the power of flight that she has in the DC AU. Another thing I absolutely loved about this trailer is Gal Gadot's interactions with Chris Pine. I really felt the chemistry there and I really felt that Chris Pine is very much able to embody Steve Trevor. Just a fun thing 
that I want to quickly, quickly, quickly note. Uh, I don't know too much about the publication history, but I know that Steve Rogers, who plays, who is Captain America, came out around World War uh, II. Then um, Steve uh, Trevor, you know, Wonder Woman's boyfriend, you know, also was out in World War II. They're both named Steve, and they both have relationships with characters that essentially represent America. Obviously, Steve Rogers is um, Captain America himself, the embodiment of American pride, Well, Steve Trevor, you know, is an American dealing with Wonder Woman who wears, you know, American um, clothing. I believe she was told to wear that in order to connect to American soldiers. So I really, really love that. But I also find it hysterical that uh, the Steve characters have the same name made by opposing companies, and they're both being played by Chris's in the current movies. So I thought that was just like a fun piece of trivia right there. The score at the end of that trailer was phenomenal. Hans Zimmer's music is amazing. I actually bought the Wonder Woman's uh, score from the Batman v Superman album because it's just that good. Hans Zimmer did a fantastic job, and it's actually a bummer that that was his last like big action movie. Hopefully he'll come back to score Wonder Woman. I doubt it. They probably already have a composer. But I'm really happy that they're going to at least uh, bring his score into uh, at least a trailer. Hopefully it'll come into the movie when she appears at some point. But that score is phenomenal. Like, it's really, really phenomenal. The line at the end where she's talking to his secretary and she says where she comes from, that's slavery. I thought that was great. Wonder Woman isn't really known to be comedic, but when she's able to get comedy out there, it's very, very well done. It's like kind of like stern humor, but it's nice. It's, it's very, very, very fun. Like, I obviously, you saw me react to it. I loved it. I thought it was um, really, really awesome. I think Chris Pine, you know, he's known to be very... Uh, uh, he can be kind of goofy, but very serious, and I think he's able to play that well with Steve Trevor here, especially when, um, you know, he asks her about her father, and she goes, I was made from Zeus, and I love how he just kind of looks at her and goes, oh, okay, I'll let that go, I don't understand it, but I just loved his facial expressions. Um, visually, I think it was so, so stunning. All of those amazing shots of um, of the slow-mo, with the slow motion, were probably my favorite. I love seeing the glow effect of the lasso, and I think Gal Gadot just owns the character of Wonder Woman. She is Wonder Woman. Um, I'm blanking on her first name. Oh, I got it. Susan Egan, who did the Wonder Woman voice from the DCAU, I thought embodied the Wonder Woman voice, but I am just feeling it so much with Gal Gadot visually, and I love it. Um, I love seeing Queen Hippolyta in the beginning. I thought like when they had like that ceremony, that was really cool, and I also love seeing you know, the island and Wonder and uh, Steve coming out, or Steve and Wonder Woman on the beach at the island. I thought that was really cool as well. I thought the visuals were great. This is so much better than the Batman v Superman trailer. It's not very, very CGI focused, which I absolutely love. The one thing about Batman v Superman I didn't like was the intensive CGI, and that is the opposite that we got here. We got awesome, awesome visuals that are nice to look at, and at the same time, you want to see more. Like, I cannot see more. I thought the, the visuals of the lasso were also quite impressive. So overall, 5 out of 5 for this trailer. I am so looking forward to the movie, and I really, really hope you enjoyed my coverage of the trailer. Thank you for watching with me, and I hope you will leave your thoughts about Wonder Woman in the comments below. And um, we'll talk more about Comic-Con this week, or this weekend. Bye!